Thank you, Charlotte. The sound of the sound of where we live. Conversation to come between now and eight o'clock, and we're tackling a topic uh, that is not to be taken lightly. We are talking domestic abuse, and in particular, we're focusing on domestic abuse against males. Now, this is because uh, we're chatting to Lee Marks and Josh Monroe in the next hour of the show. Uh, now, Lee, together with assistance from Josh, wrote a book called Break the Silence. It was about male victims of domestic abuse. Since then, the whole level of the work that they've been doing to help victims of domestic abuse has exploded. Uh, they're local to us and they've been working very hard in our communities and they now help all sorts of victims of domestic abuse, not just men. men. Uh, so we'll get on to that conversation in the next 20 minutes or so, find out what they've been up to lately and what they hope to do next. Kate Justice. BBC. Hereford and Worcester. Um, it's the evening show. It's 19 minutes past 19, which is seven tonight. Uh, now we're tackling, I say we're tackling, we're just having a catch up um, with a couple of guys who we've had on the show before. Now I'll start from the beginning. You might have seen on the BBC a programme. Uh, it, was, it was actually about 18 months ago now, it started last year and it was called Abused by My Girlfriend and it was a really shocking story of 23 year old Alex Skeel from Bedford who survived a very abusive relationship with his girlfriend. Now the broadcast of that show helped raise the awareness of domestic abuse, particularly from the male perspective. Now this inspired Lee Marks, who has spent several years working in this field, to write a book. Along with his friend Josh Monroe, Lee wanted to create a new service for male victims of domestic violence because it can sometimes get overlooked. So the book, called Break the Silence, was published. Now since then, the two of them have created training courses on how to support victims and they will be working with the University of Worcester and soon be releasing a 12-week support package. Well, I had a chat to Lee and Josh all about it and uh, started by going back to the beginning for them uh, and asking Lee to tell me about the beginnings of the book. Obviously, having worked in domestic abuse, certainly with men for quite a period of time before, I decided that I wanted to do something because, you know, there's not that many services out there. So put pen to paper and wrote um, the book, Break the Silence, a support guide for male victims of domestic abuse. And knowing Josh, because we worked in the same company at the time. Yes, we did. When I finished it, I said, mate, do you want to have a quick look over this and give me your viewpoint? And it sort of just all fell together from there. Mm -hmm. And it, it literally three months to complete. And we released it via Amazon and started advertising it through all the different social media services. It's got to be said, it has just gone a little bit mental over the last 12 months. I know that you were both um, enthused and also shocked at the success of it and the need for it. Um, but of course, then, you know, we're all locked in our homes with potentially yeah. our abusers and this has been a, a huge cause of concern once again uh, a lot of the time people are more concerned about female victims yeah we and we, and we we get that you know we we try to come from a gender neutral sort of stance um before lockdown began we had our website which with break the silence uk where we were looking at supporting just male victims but, you know, with the need that was there, we, we got our heads together and had a, had a thought about it and thought, you know what, we have been getting emails from female victims as well that have come across the website. We need to open up. You know, we do specialise in, in, in male victims. Um, and Josh had a bit of a, a, an expertise around the LGBT side of it. But we would never turn anyone away from the website. And it's just... <sighs> you hear the figures about the, the helplines um, that have been snowed under and they've increased massively with the cause they've had during lockdown uh, we have a lot of contact with uh, the mankind initiative as well with mark brooks there and it's been exactly the same with their helpline that's that's increased massively with calls coming in 
And it's got to be said, uh, myself and Josh have been a bit inundated with emails coming in through the website in terms of people looking for just a little bit of advice, just a little bit of support during that really? period. Yeah. Wow. OK, mm -hmm. so where are we at now? I mean, Josh, how, how have you found how do you feel about the reaction you've had to it and the, the stories that keep coming through? And, and where, where are you hoping to go next as well? So well, with the stories that have been coming through um, from our experience, some, some are quite similar, but there have um, been new challenges that have arisen where we have had to sort of put our heads together and how we'd want to approach that, especially with current COVID regulations, people being locked in their own homes and, you know, not being able to access um, the outside or at least external services because a lot aren't in tune with like the male side of domestic abuse. So the way things will be moving forward, um, because of how successful the book is being at the moment, and also the recognition of the new book, um, Abuse is Abuse, Not a Gender Issue, a lot of places are sort of clamouring for advice and guidance around men, but also are seeing our point of view that domestic abuse affects everybody, but well, each faction is that, you know, men, women, LGBT, Q plus have similar experiences, but how they affect each individual faction differently and how that impacts them further on in the future. And now you're taking it out to students as well. And um, so what, what's the what's the current development? With the book Break the Silence, um, starting off initially with that, just just with that book, it, it's been recognised by Mankind Initiative. They've listed it on their website as a key publication. The University of Worcester, um, it's on their approved reading list for their domestic and sexual violence diploma. And it's being used by quite a number of male services across the UK as part of their one-to-one -one support with their um, with their clients that they work with. Well, I mean, one service in particular contacted us and said, we'd like a box of your books because we hand them out oh as gosh. part of the support that we, we provide. Gosh. It's spanned out into a number of exciting opportunities as i said before we got the website now we have a lot of people sending us messages having looked at our website saying they like the content could they ask a few questions and it's led to us being able to look at launching break the silence uk not just as a website but as a social enterprise so as part of that we will me and josh have got our heads together we will be offering to start with private one-to-one -one support we've had a number of organizations contact us about providing training so we've written and designed some training around the different areas we cover and we do bespoke training as well and i think our biggest success we put the feelers out about uh doing a convention next year around male victims of domestic abuse mm -hmm. Um, and just the feedback we've had from people, they've all come back to us saying, we would love to speak at your convention if you could do it. So it's, it's, it's just gone bigger than we ever thought possible. What a story. Break the silence UK .co .uk if you want to have a little look uh, at more about it. And the book, of course, is available on Amazon called Break the Silence by Lee Marks and Josh Monroe. Those are the two chaps from Worcestershire. I was chatting to there and the, the book obviously has been picked up uh, and run with by all organisations, especially locally, that help victims of domestic abuse or even those who are studying uh, to potentially work in the support in that industry. What a fascinating story. Anyway, there's more to come from the lovely Lee and Josh. Uh, they're so passionate about what they do and thank goodness for people like them. I've got to say it in that sort of rhyming mode. Good tune, that one. Love it. Uh, we've got Jamiroquai on the way, but now we're returning to our conversation with the guys, the local guys from Worcestershire behind BreakTheSilenceUK.co.uk, supporting victims of domestic abuse. Now, they also wrote the book Break the Silence, a support guide for male victims of domestic abuse. This was last year. And I'm just going to read you a little blurb about the book. Most people, when they think about domestic abuse, think man towards woman. 
Break the Silence is an insight into the very real world of male victims of domestic abuse. Break the Silence aims to buck the trend and give male victims and survivors of domestic abuse a no-nonsense guide to support them to understand what domestic abuse is, the tactics and behaviours used by female perpetrators, help in keeping safe and what the legal options are. And then it goes on. Uh, now, it's obviously a book none of us want to need, but inevitably people do. Especially during lockdown, domestic violence became even more of a big issue, as has been widely publicised. So we'll return now to our conversation with uh, the brilliant Lee and Josh, who I've really, really enjoyed talking to. We, we had them first on the show uh, last year when they wrote the book. And they are currently working on a second book which Lee told me a little bit more about. We haven't said much about it, but obviously, you know, one of the things we had when we put the first book out, there was a lot of good reception from it. And a lot of people were saying to us, Joe, we really good if we could get a male professional's perspective around female victims of abuse. And that's kind of what inspired our second book that we're currently working on, Abuse is Abuse, Not a Gender Issue. Because what we wanted to show, like Josh said, you know, a lot of the behaviours that victims are dealing with a very, very similar. And that's what we have from a lot of female victims that read the first book as well. So it's we, we've sort of been having a lot of conversations, haven't we, Josh, with, yeah. with people around, you know, the need to recognise there are differences, but actually to take away part of that gender issue and treat all victims of abuse as victims of abuse and treat them with the respect and dignity that they need. Well, this is such a success story for you. And, you know, we want to get it all out, that whole rat's nest of abuse stamped out. Absolutely. Yeah, that's yes, what completely. you're doing. Where, remind me where you guys are. Uh, Josh is in Worcester. Mm -hmm. I'm in Eastham, so... Uh, Very right local. Yeah, but this is Absolutely. like... Yeah, this is a potential global phenomenon now with everything being online and you've got the book and the new book. This This... Uh, doesn't I mean it starts right here, obviously, but you know, yeah, you 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 can take it wherever you want. Yeah, it, it, it is happening, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's like potential for it and and the recognition for the need for the information. And um, some of the organisations that have approached us have been incredibly keen, but also very kind and very um, accepting of the information, and you know, very keen to work with us, which is phenomenal. Our, our network is just got massive in turn not not just with with the organizations that support male victims of domestic abuse we've had people contacting us that work in mental health that want to work with us uh people that will look at gender equality wanting to work with us as well trying to pull everything together so you know not just in the area of domestic abuse but in in general we can all work together and try and take gender out of the equation and try and work on equality for everybody. Well, good for you guys. It's a very impressive story. And the fact that you're still so passionate about it is is phenomenal, really. Um, you know, you're just out there helping, getting it out there. When's the, I mean, the, the website is fairly self-explanatory. Break the silence right. UK dot co dot UK. And then you can get the book on there and everything. You can get the book on there. We've got a blog on there that details all the things that we've done. Uh, it's, it's got everything on there. It's got ways that people can contact us. We're, we're yeah. always on there adding stuff on there. It's a fun website. Yeah, we enjoy it. Con yeah. Considering, <laughs> considering the subject, you know, it, it really, and that I think is really important with, some, with something that people find difficult talking about. I mean, the whole, you know, premise of domestic abuse is that it's like, it, it, it's hidden. So this fun element brings it out. Well, yeah, because, well, with domestic abuse being, um, well, having been seen mm. for a long, long time as a, you know, behind closed doors, not interested, it's between, you know, uh, say the people that are in the relationship, having shed some light on that and how people how, who have thought that before have sort of uh, re-evaluated their thinking and seen, oh, it, this isn't just me that's going through this. I have several friends that are in a similar situation or... You know, there are well, there are a lot of similarities and they've been able to help each other through as well as sort of enlighten each other and, you know, sort of move, well, moving things forward. There you go. Josh Munro and Lee Marks from Worcestershire talking about their domestic abuse help website, breakthesilenceuk.co.uk.